Hello and thank you for attending another ECAHO short how-to video by Advanced Network Devices. This is Mike Kazemian, the Product Manager for ECAHO. Uh, today we will be introducing uh, ECAHO Insight. Uh, ECAHO Insight is a new component of the ECAHO Connect system. Um, previous to introduction of uh, ECAHO Insight, ECAHO Connect ecosystem consisted of the ECAHO Pro software. Uh, the ECAHO Survey for iOS platform, ECAHO Analyzer for the iOS platform, ECAHO Analyzer for Android, and ECAHO Packet Capture, alongside ECAHO Cloud Services, where users could design the wireless network and then use any of the additional components or the ECAHO Pro to be able to uh, conduct the survey and uh, share the file through ECAO Cloud Services. With the introduction of the ECAO Insights, the collaboration of the um, users for accessing the files and uh, the uh, projects uh, has become a lot easier and seamless. So what is ECAO Insight? ECAO Insight provides Wi-Fi performance analytics with automatic issue identification to improve network quality and minimize the downtime. From the global uh, perspective, users can automate uh, a fast and easy way of Wi-Fi performance analytics, uh, simplified project file management and organization, seamless sharing of the heat map uh, on the cloud viewer, and pairing perfectly with any existing management system. At the project level, uh, users can search and sort projects. They can see specifics of each heat map. Uh, they can do project and result sharing, even to non ECAHO license owners. And finally, they can do project tagging. So let's do a live demo of the ECAO Connect and see how all of these components are put together. Once users are equipped with ECAO Cloud and ECAO Connect, uh, they can simply sign in the cloud account. And the first view that they will see is the global view of the, all the projects um, with a global map. Uh, once we go down, we can see the list of all the projects, the locations, uh, the users, the last survey time, and then the network health. Further down the line, we can see the overall uh, network health of all the existing projects. We can see the survey events that occurred uh, based on the date, the user, the time, the uh, project name and also the number of the APs. And on the lower right side, we can see the network inventory of the um, APs and then the standard or the type of AP uh, that was used uh, in the project itself. Uh, we can also change this to a list view uh, and we can see it purely on a map view. Uh, or we can see it as a combination. Now, um, users, once they select a specific project um, from the list, uh, they can, for example, go and take a look at the uh, specific project and we can see the details of the floors that the project, uh, the survey were done. Uh, we can see exactly what's going on by clicking on a specific floor and we can see the heat map. The heat maps can be um, channel interference, network health, network issues, signal strength, secondary signal strength, and signal to noise ratio. Uh, this is for the overall. Also, we can see that for a specific AP, we can see that for the 2.4 band and we can see that for the 5 gigahertz. Um, uh, for that specific project. If we want to see again the overall heat map, we can simply click anywhere outside of that area and we can see the overall uh, heat map of that specific floor. 
uh, and it is very similar to the Ecall Pro. We can click on any other floor and we can see the heat map for that specific floor. Now, once we want to go back, we can simply click on the Ikehau logo here and we will see the Ikehau global view. Uh, it is noteworthy to mention that users cannot see the design projects here in this list. list however, it is possible to see it elsewhere. Uh, we simply click on the uh, user uh, profile and licenses and then here we can see those projects. As an example, we can go to the Ecal Pro, load up a map, and here we will add a map here, and we will save this as Insight. in the ACAL project folder and we can save that to the cloud now once we go back into the into the um, ACAHO uh, insights we can see that that project is not here anywhere to be found however when we click on the profile and licenses we can see the insight test here uh, here we can select that specific project we can also manage the sharing we can add another user that wants to conduct a survey they also have to have the ICAO cloud account as well as the ICAO connect license uh, then they will be able to see that. Also, they can create a shareable link for users which do not have Ikehau Connect licenses, so they can view the specifics of that project uh, by simply creating a shareable link. And that shareable link can be shared with anybody, uh, regardless of whether they are license owners or not. Uh, additionally, users can add locations to a specific project uh, by adding the full address here and that project will be uh, updated so we can see now there is a specific loca location to this specific project which can be uh, seen in the overall view here so when we zoom in here we can see right here is the project that we define and we can see that uh, specifically so there is no issues in respect to the uh, locations that we have here furthermore we can add tags to a uh, existing project so we can go here and we can select the same project and we can also add a tag to this specific project and we so we can add and update and so now this project is tagged alongside other projects which had the same name here um, as a project so we can see right here that project is also here in addition to any other project that was um, tagged with the same name moreover once we go to the ACAO, we can, by the way, have multiple tags if we wish. Uh, so there's no limitations into the tags that we have. Um, we can go here and, for example, click on a specific project from here as well. We can see the specifics of that project and we can see the network health without any issues by looking at the various parameters that uh, were available for that survey that was conducted. If there is multiple surveys that is being conducted for the same project, we can see the progression of that specific heat map within this project as well. 
This concludes an overview of the Ikehow Insights and how it can assist users in uh, sharing the files as well as managing the performance of the uh, survey projects within the Ikehow Connect solution. Thank you for attending this short Ikehow how-to video. We look forward to see you in future videos.